Okay, welcome back everybody. So this news is on the FDA approval of Regeneron's antibody cocktail REGN-EB3 brand name Inmazeb for the Zaire Ebola virus. This is the first time the FDA has approved a treatment specifically for Ebola, which has caused a number of deadly outbreaks. We are currently in the 11th Ebola outbreak, less than two years since the last outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The highly publicized outbreak was in 2014 West Africa, claiming more than 11,300 lives. This led to Regeneron discovering and completing phase one trials in healthy humans in 2015, working in coordination with the US government's Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority. So briefly, who are Regeneron? Regeneron is a leading biotechnology company founded in 1988. Based in the US, they invent life-transforming medicines for people with serious diseases. They currently have seven FDA-approved treatments and numerous product candidates in development. Inmozeb is a triple antibody cocktail of altotivimab, maftivimab, and odesivimab. Its approval is for the treatment of the Zaire Ebola virus infection in adult and pediatric patients. The three antibodies firstly attempt to neutralize the virus by binding to glycoprotein on the surface of Ebola virus, which blocks attachment and entry of the virus into cells. Then they induce effective function which brings in other immune cells to target infected cells in order to clear them from the body. The approval is on the back of the PALM study, a four-arm trial evaluating four promising experimental therapies for Ebola virus initiated in 2018. The four agents were ZMAP, a triple monoclonal antibody agent which was used as a control, Remdesivir, a nucleotide analog RNA polymerase inhibitor, MAB114, a single human monoclonal antibody derived from an Ebola survivor, and REGN-EB3, a core formulated mixture of three human IgG1 monoclonal antibodies. The primary efficacy endpoint was 28-day mortality. At the 28-day time point, 33% of those who received Inmazeb had died compared to 51% of those who'd received a control. The study was sponsored by the US National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases with collaborators from the National Medical Research Organizations of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Senegal, France, and the World Health Organization. George D. Yankopoulos, President and Chief Scientific Officer of Regeneron, had this to say about the FDA approval, quote, decades of investment in our VelociSuite rapid response technologies the dedication of world-class scientists and the courageous contributions of healthcare providers and patients, together with remarkable cooperation between leading international health organizations and governments have led to this important moment. As we apply the same sophisticated technologies and manufacturing capabilities against COVID-19, we hope this will be one of many demonstrations of how the power of science can be successfully deployed against dangerous infectious diseases. Close quotes. As part of the agreement mentioned earlier with the US government's Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, Regeneron will deliver established number of Inmazeb treatment doses over the course of six years as part of the US Department of Health and Human Services goal of building national preparedness for public health emergencies. Inmazeb does come with warnings and precautions highlighted by the manufacturer. As a result, the manufacturer advises all patients be monitored during and post infusion for any adverse signs and symptoms with appropriate emergency care on the ready should any severe or life-threatening hypersensitivity reactions occur. That concludes this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.